Alright, what is up, Hardcore Nation? It's Hardcore Christopher here, and tonight I'm going to be continuing the story of the young wizard that could. So, what happened last time is we ran into goblins. Took out goblins, got hurt by goblins, 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 goblins. So, let's get, let's continue on, shall we? The two of you continue through the castle. Occasionally, you hear dis distinct things, a shout, a crash, even voices. Soon you come to a door with light streaming out through its cracks. You open the door ever so slightly and peek in. You see a cloaked man frantically pacing back and forth. A torch in his hand. His cloak is open, revealing a muscled frame inked with tattoos. You think you make out at least one of the tattoos to be the symbol of Nero, goddess of the undead. This reminds you of the tattooed body, body of a man... <clears throat> of a man hung in the city square only a month ago. He was believed to be an evil priest of Nero and was accused of terrible crimes, including raising zombies. Focusing on the rest of the room, your fear is quickly confirmed. There is a large stone symbol of Nero built into the wall. The stonework appears to be of new construction. In addition, there is a lu luxurious curtain adorning the wall as well as a number of simple beds. Priests of Nero are not fools and are able to harvest power from their deity to cast dangerous spells. However, you have the element of surprise and there's only one of them. Attack with spells, attack without spells. Spy for a bit. Where is she? I could... I could. How could she escape? The man mutters to himself. The, sacri the sacrifice must appease him. He whispers, sacrifice. You think, no doubt... He is referring to human sacrifice, Nero's favorite sort. What, my mistress, he whispers, tilt, tilting his head. You didn't hear anyone else. He must be talking to himself again. A moment later, the priest starts walking toward the door. You have cracked open quickly. You you move out of sight and listen for a few seconds. You hear nothing, not even footsteps. What do you do? You decide to wait a few more seconds after all. The last time you saw him, he was heading toward this door. What a great ambush. Suddenly the door opens and the man is there, his finger pointed toward you. There is a cr 
crackle and a black bolt of energy slices into you. Evidently, he saw you after all. Reginald charges in the priest. The priest ducks back as Reginald swings his sword, but not fast enough. The blade slashes his, his shoulder. He tries to run, chanting something, likely a prayer to his foul god. He never finishes it. Reginald cuts him down with one great cleave. And our, and we are very close to death. Now that you are in the room, you can see that you're in living quarters. There are simple beds along the wall and a good-sized chest in the corner. Treasure! You think as you run over and try to lift the lid. Locked. The Nurlin priest did not die quietly. So perhaps you should have... Reginald smash the lid with his... with his sword, and then get out of here. On the other hand, there ought to be a key around here, around somewhere. Maybe you should take a few seconds to check. Search around. You stand guard while I search, you say to Reginald. You kick the body of the priest over. The corpse is a bloody mess, but you don't have time to be dainty about it. The man is nude. Other than the cloak and a golden amulet, around his neck. The amulet is an unholy symbol of Nurl, the goddess of the undead. You would never keep such an evil thing, but it's coated in gold, so you could have, m have it melted down. You rummage through his sticky cloak. Sure enough, you find a key. You trot over to the chest. Key in hand. The key ha has the same hue of metal as the lock. And you are optimistic that it will fit. You are fumbling with the key when you hear something off in the distance. And a chill goes down your spine. Are more coming? Did they hear the priest cry out? Normally you are cautious with chests, having heard that they are sometimes trapped. However, searching the chest for traps will take time, and you're not particularly skilled in trap detection. Yes. Search for traps. You take the time to look over the chest carefully. There are no obvious traps. You carefully insert the key into the lock. It's a fit. You close your eyes as you turn the key. The top of the chest pops open as though on a spring and nothing happens. You exhale in relief. Inside is a bag full of gold pieces, some platinum engraved china, and a small black bound writing 
book. Then there is a low rumble of footsteps, and you look up just as two priests burst into the room. Unholy one, give me strength, one of the priests shouts. With these words, a dark shade appears around his hand and then shoots out, striking Reginald, who flies back against the wall. The other priest grins at you. A dark ray springs from his outstretched finger, striking you in the shoulder. Cold pain spreads through you. You dive behind the curtain, hoping to at least obscure their ability to target you with spells. What do you do? Um, distract with illusion. Well, that didn't work. An interesting choice. You wave your hands, infusing yourself with magical energy. Now, you must prepare in your mind the illusion in order to project a convincing illusion. It is best to pick something you have seen before. But you are tempted to pick something fearsome in order to skip. Let's just go with the horde. <laughs> you remain hidden behind the curtain as you cast your illusion. Suddenly, a horde of goblins spill into the room just as Reginald cuts the first evil priest down. The second priest spreads out his hands and shoots a fan of flame into the oncoming goblins, but the fire passes through the illusion harmlessly. The priest snarls as he realizes he has been tricked, but unfortunately for him, he has used his spell, and Reginald hacked him down. Nice job. You take the time to search the bodies and find golden unholy symbol medallions on each of them, as well as one fine silver dagger. Not bad for 20 seconds of work. I... I tire of looting corpses. Let us be off to rescue the merchants and receive a glorious reward, he exclaimed. You exclaim. Watch a short video ad to get four free coins. I strongly recommend you watch these. As soon as you can. Uh, okay, guys. That's what I'm gonna call it for now. I will decide on whether or not we are going to watch a video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want to be a member of this community, tap the S down below. Make sure you ring the bell, then click all for every time I upload a video. Now... If you don't want to be a member of this community, it's okay. I still respect you. At the end of the day, I'm just glad that you chose to spend a little bit of your time here. I'm Hardcore Christopher. Keep it hardcore if you want. Yeah, you did. And you instantly got the best, most competitive offer from our network of thousands of dealers. So you're selling the car, but keeping the bus. You're selling the room, too? Last night, we tried to have L.C. Duncan killed. My family went to war. I want everything shut down now. I have my hands, and I want her back. Anything, Duncan, I want dead. You want a wall? We can look wall. Ashes to ashes. That's the 
just like a star. I'm back. 